say that's my Buddhism, you know, it's, it's actually what I learned from my teachers. What I think among the four years we stayed with them in the Himalayas, you know, all we learned and stuff, I try to find that which I think is most useful for people here and now. Making them independent, strong, beautiful, happy, you know, meaningful, all these things. When a broken lineage of perfect teachers, you know, down till today, where we have Thaya Dorje, Kamapathaya Dorje, our, our great future, you know, the great and powerful future of all lineage, Kunzi Shamapa, helping him in every way, and, and, and all the others, you know, of the lineage, the Rinpoche, Sherp Jalshin Rinpoche, so many others, you know, who have been and who have left and who are coming in new incarnations today. When I come to Nepal and so on, they pull out the big teacher's chair, you know, the throne, you know, and put me up there, and I have to bless people and give teaching and all kinds of things. Oh yeah, I'm recognized. They say Mahakala. They say protector, black protector. That's what they say, and I know that. I was born like that with the with the birthmark, there are other things, you know, signs and so on. But there's no doubt, and I, I have no choice. I have no choice, I do what I have to do. It's not that I could say, okay, then I do something else, you know, this is my life, this is what I promised to do, and that's what moves on. Just the ones I taught poa, I taught how to die consciously, sending the awareness from the top of the head now is very conservatively counted, you know, 70,000 people around the world. Here then, on the highest level, the Diamond Way level, we will begin to behave like Buddhas until we become Buddhas that place where highest joy, compassion, wisdom, power, fearlessness, uh, inside where all this comes together as highest level of functioning and highest level of truth. This is real, everything else is relative. Because if we think of others, we actually have very rich lives, and if we think of ourselves, we have quite small lives. I'm not enlightened, you know, several like the 16th comma, but clearly was, right? I'm, you know, liberated, I don't take things personally, but I'm not enlightened. I don't know what Mrs. Kropotkin is, is, is cooking five houses from here and what she's thinking while she's doing it, right? But come up and so on, he would know. We have 640 centers around the world, and, but I say the place I spend most of my time is probably in the airports. <laughs> so I come, in, I come to the airport and say, oh, home sweet home. <laughs> So, I mean, I advise against drugs, I really do. Best drug, I would say, are the nice young ladies, or I don't really know it from the side of the ladies, probably the handsome, productive gentlemen, right, and so on. But that's the best, and then some parachuting, I'd hit a hundred jumps. Yeah. If 
I'd learned to sit in the free fall. And I forgot to look at the, at the altimeter, right? And suddenly the world got very big, you know, and I said, ooh, and I said, and first thought was, Ole, again, you have no fear, you know. And then I said, well, I should still do something, right? And then when I just went for the main parachute, then the, then the auxiliary one came out. But it came out at 80 meters, they say, and I landed on concrete. I know from my own case that I was a protector in East Tibet in my last life. I'm actually, I'm not so much a person, I'm more a programmer. I'm supposed to be a Buddhist protector. I was born with a big black birthmark on my forehead, you know, and there are several other signs in me, you know, that, that shows that last time I was protecting and I can actually protect without getting angry. That's the main thing, you know. I, I don't think that I am my body. I think that I have my body. My body is a tool for doing certain things that eventually will be useful.